New York Rangers, Florida Panthers, game three. The Rangers absolutely stole one, but I know that's not what you want to hear me, a noted Rangers fan, talk about. Let's talk Truba. Evan Rodriguez honestly gets Truba flat-footed. Truba goes for the hit. Let's be honest, it's an elbow, and he nails Rodriguez in the head. This would not end up being a major, which I don't understand. If you're not going to give a major to this, what deserves it? Like, it's an elbow, which is already illegal, and it's to his head. It's unnecessary. It was clearly premeditated. That's a major. Have there been bad and missed calls all series? Yes, but that doesn't matter. It's dirty, it needs to be a major, and it probably needs to be a suspension. The thing about Truba is that he's got many just explosive hits, which I think are legal, but all of his play gets lumped together with shit like this, and I don't blame fans of other teams for seeing him that way. I'm guessing it was this angle from behind which probably kept it to a double minor instead of a major. Truba doesn't connect quite as hard as it looks from the front, but I mean, the intention is there. Anyway, the chicken wing, regardless of how you cook it, it's a tough look. Let's talk the game, though, and I sort of preempted this by saying the Rangers stole one, and yeah, I think they probably did. Also, I was that asshole father today who had my kid to a birthday party watching the game on their phone, but anyway, Panthers opened the scoring up early. They'd get far more power plays in this game, would go two for five, and it would almost be the difference maker. But Lafreniere, who had a hell of a game, he could have scored three, maybe four, gets the puck and just absolutely roofs one on the backhand. I'm wondering where the Rangers stars are, but right now players like Laugh and, as we'll see, Goudreau are showing up, and it is that sort of depth which helps a lot in the playoffs. Barkley Goodrow, who, by the way, had four goals in 80 games this season, got his fifth of the playoffs in the first off a beautiful deflection. Everyone said Barkley Goodrow, he's a postseason guy. Obviously, he was a part of those Tampa Bay Lightning teams, and he's been clutch so far for New York, scoring not just goals like this, but absolute snipes. Anyway, staying in the first, Keandre Miller had a tough night, and he fails to clear it on another power play, leading to a tying Florida goal. I thought the back end of the Rangers would be one of their strengths this postseason. I thought they'd be generating offense, but it's been iffy. Anyway, into the second, Lafreniere would score one of the goals of the playoffs. Coming down the wing, toe drag, backhand, it's just disgusting. I mean, the actual shot on his first backhand was nicer, but the overall play, the speed, the strength, that's exactly what Rangers fans have been hoping to see from Laf since they drafted him. And I mean, Lafreniere has been such a good example of why you do not get impatient with draft picks. This season was his best by far, 57 points, nearly a point a game since the All-Star break, and in these playoffs, he's got 12 points, including six goals in 13 games. Some of you might also remember he got that tying goal for the Rangers, and I think Game five against Carolina, they end up losing that, but he did tie it late in the third. Next up, after the double minor from the Truba hit, shorthanded Goodrow would absolutely snipe one for his second of the game. And this is just bad coverage by Florida. They double team Trocheck. No need for that. He's well covered in the corner. That would make it 4 2. In the third, however, the Rangers would collapse. They'd give up two goals and would be happy to only give up that many. They'd also get a power play right near the end of the period. They managed to kill that off. And in overtime, Wenberg would deflect a shot towards the net for the game-winning goal. Rangers win their second straight game in overtime, moving the series to 2-1. Again, I thought overall, although the Rangers obviously had a strong second, Florida was the better team, and the Rangers, largely through the efforts of Shesterkin and a few key players, managed to steal one. But that's the playoffs. Depth matters, and I'll be curious to see what game four looks like. Keep Rempe in, obviously. I don't want to change anything at this point. What I do want to see is more production from the Rangers top six, especially the top three. But those are my thoughts. Let me know, of course, yours down below.